He, 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 we're not being aggressive, sir. We're not doing that. We're just having a conversation, but he's being aggressive. getting that camera on my face. Simply asking if they want to have a conversation. If they want to have a conversation, then we engage in a conversation. My name is Sister Bruja Haloka. There's these two men right now who are going to get married. And marriage was created by God and it was designed to be between a man and a woman. What is your name? Pastor Johnine at Hope Lutheran Church. Pa Hope Lutheran Church. Pastor Johnine? Yes. I believe that God has called you to repentance and I love you enough to tell you the truth. I pronounce you husband and husband. Or live a lifestyle of homosexuality. What scripture do you have to support that? I don't know. Whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This means that God died for the whole world. He didn't die just for some people. He died for everyone. All right, welcome everyone again. Thank you for watching. I am out here with my brother, Julian, Julian Lopez. Julian, tell me, what have you been doing out here today so far? I've been sharing the love of God through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hey Amen. That's awesome, brother. Listen, I want to encourage anyone who's watching, any Christian who may be watching, to come and evangelize in one way, shape, or form, right? Whether it's out here on the streets, whether it's at school, whether it's at work, whether it's with your friends or your family, I want to encourage everyone. We were commissioned by Jesus himself in the book of Matthew chapter 28. He says to go out and preach the gospel, go out and make disciples and baptize them, right? So today we are out here because there is a pride parade event. I don't know what we would call it. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, what's it called? Pride, uh, Pride Bigger Than Texas is what it's called. It's this big festival where they're out here singing and they got food and, and games and it seems fun. However, this is evil in the eyes of the, uh, in, in the, eyes of the Lord, this is evil. Um, so Julian, I, 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 wanna, I wanna honor you, brother, for what you're doing, man. There's not too many Christians who come out here and do this. There's not too many Christians who are bold enough to come in, in, in the, it, in the midst of, of the evil, um, in the midst of, of the devil's playground, if you may, That's right. there's not too many people, man, who are bold enough to come and preach the gospel like you're doing out here, man. So I honor you, bro. I honor you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's been pretty rough. I mean, we've been preaching out here for about two to three hours, and uh, we've already had people expose their, their genitalia to us. Uh, we, wow. We've, yeah, we've seen naked people go into there, and there's children going in. We have videos of children going in next to, to naked, naked people. So we're just out here just trying to just let them know that they're wicked because give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they just don't know what's evil and what's not. So, You know, if, if it was us who were naked on any other day, we'd be in jail for public nudity. Yep. But how scary is it, man, and how bad is it that it's okay to be naked in front of kids just because it's, it's pride? There's, there, there, there's definitely a double standard. Absolutely. It's, it's utterly disgusting. It's, it's an abomination. But... I, I don't know why it's okay for them. I, yeah. It just doesn't make any sense, you know? The Bible says that, that, there, that there will be people who would have itching ears who want to hear what they want to hear, yeah. right? Right now we're living in a times, man, where people just want to hear what, what is pleasing to their ears, right? What is pleasing to their sin, to their flesh. But listen, Julian, I'm glad I met you, brother. You, yeah. you contacted me uh, through YouTube on, yeah. the first video, on the first video that I posted last Saturday, man. Mm -hmm. And I want to say, man, that... Um, I pray, Lord, that, that, that uh, I pray, man, that the Lord continue to bless you, man, that, that, the, that the Lord would use you as a vessel, man, that he would give you strength, that he would anoint you, brother, to, 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 to continue doing this. And what you're doing, man, is not in vain. What we're doing is not in vain, man. This is what we're supposed to be doing. This is what we're called to do, brother. Absolutely. I love you, Julian. Love you too, brother. God bless. Hello. My name is Abel. What is your name? Pastor Johnine at Hope Lutheran Church. Pa where? Hope Lutheran Church. Pastor John Neen? Yes. Okay, I'm hoping, I'm, I hope I'm saying it correctly. Are you okay if I ask you some questions? Sure. All right. So, Pastor John Neen, right, what are you doing out here today? 
I'm out here showing God's love to everyone who uh, deserves to be reminded of the fact that they are beautifully made and worthy of God's love. And supporting uh, my community. Your community? Oh, are you homosexual? I, I am. Oh, okay. Well, are you um, lesbian or I don't know? The... Uh, I just use the term gay because gay. lesbian was kind of used as an abusive term for me back when. So uh, I'm still comfortable with gay. Got you. Where is your church located? We're located on Callahan Road, just inside of Loop 410. By the Sandia restaurant? I'm not quite sure about that, but most people seem to By know. By the baseball park, right? Not too, uh, far. not too far. Not too far. Oh, Callahan and 410. I'm thinking Callahan and 151. Yeah, you're, you're a little bit too far south. Got you. Well, um, so... Do you believe that, that God was okay with this, uh, with uh, the LGBTQ community? Absolutely. I think that uh, God knew exactly who God was creating when he created each one of us. And uh, we are uniquely and wonderfully made in the image of God. What, uh, what scripture do you have to support that? Well, I tend to go back to uh, scripture in Acts that... Um, there is neither male, female, slave, free, Jew, or Greek, but that we are all children of God, created equally in the same. What about when, G when, when God created Adam and Eve in the garden, he said, I created you male and female? Well, God had to start somewhere. Okay, so do you think those scriptures contradict each other? Um, I wouldn't say that they contradict each other. It's just that we no longer live in an Old Testament world. We no longer live in a Levitican society. We are in the after Jesus era. And Jesus did kind of contradict some of that old Mosaic law. Do you think Jesus contradicted the law? I think Jesus stood in direct contradiction to the Mosaic law. I see. Now, um, I know you mentioned the scripture, there's no, neither male or female. What scripture do you have to support um, specifically homosexuality? That, that, that God says, or Jesus says that it's okay for somebody to um, live in, this, in, in a world of, of, or live a lifestyle of homosexuality. What scripture do you have to support that? I don't know that there's one specifically. Of course, everybody can cherry pick the Bible to meet the agenda of hate and weaponize the greatest love story ever written. Um, I think I would lean more firmly on that the greatest commandment we have is to love one another. There's no, there's no, uh, no other, it's like only love each other if you're male and female, or only love each other if you meet these requirements. Love one another as I have commanded you. So there is no scripture to support the homosexual lifestyle, is there? I don't know of one. So why, why if, if you don't mind me asking, um, if there isn't any scripture to support the homosexual lifestyle, and I'm sure you believe in the God of the Bible, I'm sure you believe in the Bible, um, what, what, makes, what would lead you to believe that God is okay with, with the homosexual sin? Well, first of all, that again goes back to that Levitican and Mosaic law that claims that it is a sin. I don't believe that there's any degree to sin, whether some kid steals a piece of candy or whether you go out and murder somebody, sin is sin. Um, so you would I, compare homosexuality to murder or to stealing? If you're going to categorize it as a sin, there's no degree of sin. I've spoken to many people and they get they kind of get upset when I mention that homosexuality is a sin just like murder, but you seem to agree with, with, with me on that point. Uh, not that I agree with you. If you're going to categorize homosexuality as a sin, there is no degree to sin. The Bible clearly states, Pastor Joe, sorry, <laughs> forgot your name. The Bible clearly states that homosexuality is a sin. I, there's, there's many scriptures and I can show you if you want, but I don't believe that God is okay with, with people living this lifestyle, just like he's not okay with people murdering and people stealing. It's not biblical. It's not biblical. Okay. What does that mean to you? Um, that means to me that you have been educated, like many people have been educated. I've been educated about, by the Bible, a, not by people. A, I'll take that to an extent. I'll take that to an extent. Um, I don't have a, I don't have a d degree in theology, <laughs> if that means anything. 
Do you? I do. Yes, I do. Um, I firmly and hard, hardcore believe in God is love, period. You're right. God does love the world. That's John 3, 16. For he, God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believes shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Did you also know? Did you also know? If you were this way, you were this way. God said, if you believe in me, you will have eternal life. He didn't say if. If what? If you're a there, certain there's way. No there's no No, he said, if you. He did you know that, that God caused... Did you know that God, that God caused people to repentance? Even Jesus himself and his disciples preached repentance. What does repentance mean to you? Um, as it should to anybody. That no, what does it mean to you? Forgiveness for your sin. What is... Okay. Again, we're back to the sin. Is homosexuality a sin? I yes or no? I believe that homosexuality is a sin. What scripture do you have to support that? Um, if you want to keep going in the circle, we can keep going in the circle. But I'm going to no, go we're not back gonna... to the fact that God created us in God's image. You're right. Now, God... Yeah, interesting. Yeah. This is a safe place. Um, this is public property. I paid to come in here. I'm not hating people. I'm not yelling at people. I'm not judging people. I'm just simply asking people if they want to have a conversation. If they want to have a conversation, then why not? I, I, I thought I would come to you specifically because you're a church, mm -hmm. right? And there's always, there always seems to be a big conflict and a big divide between, between church or Christians and the LGBT community. So I find it hard to believe that you can be a Christian or, 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 or let me see, that you can be a pastor and be in agreement with, with this sin. Uh, again, I, I don't believe homosexuality is a sin. Well, and it's I biblical that to, it is. I'm going to continue to preach love and acceptance which I is preach what, love too which is what I have been asked God to. God calls us to repentance we are called to turn away from our sins in the book of 1st Corinthians it says that the evil doer the homosexual the idolater the murderer will not enter the kingdom of God Paul continue goes Paul continues to continues to go on and say some of you were these things some of you were idolaters homosexuals murderers some of you were these things, but now we have salvation and grace in the name of Jesus. Okay, so again, there's that word were. Okay, the Bible says that clearly the homosexual will not make it into the kingdom of God. What does that mean to you, that scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 6? There are a lot of people who are in agreements with me, a lot of people who are sitting around us who what? serve the same God and worship in the same congregation that I do. Um, again, I'm sorry, I just. I, Neither one of us are going to be able to agree. I can respect that you have your opinion. It's um, not my opinion, it's biblical. Again. It's not my opinion. The Bible is open to interpretation. You mentioned cherry picking. It, it kind of seems like you're cherry picking. No, the Bible is not inerrant. Just because God loves the world doesn't mean he's completely in agreement or accepts the sin of the world. He came to die on a cross for the sins of the world that people would repent and turn away from their sins. I appreciate your time. You don't want to continue the conversation? No, I'm this really, is good. I'm really, really done. But thank you for People on both ends can hear what you have to say and people can hear what I have to say. Um, I, I think I would rather people hear what I have to say in a setting of love and not in a... I'm debate. preaching love too. I love these people. They, they Pastor can hear this type jo of stuff Johansson. from Austin, from the capital. And I just, that's that's not my setting. I would I'll tell you, be in a setting this, of love and... Okay. People know that I love them and that they are serving a God that loves them. Real quick, I'm going to make one last statement and we're done. I'm out here in love. I can tell you right now, Johans, Pastor Johansson, is that what it is? Johnny. Johnny, I'm so sorry. I'm out here in love. The Bible says that I should love my neighbor. The Bible says that I should even love my enemy. I'm not calling you my enemy, but I'm just saying that I love I love everybody, right? You, you, mentioned, you mentioned the greatest commandment, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Love, okay. It is love that draws me, that pushes me to come out here and to spread the message of repentance. Because as much as you may deny it, the Bible is very clear that we are called to repentance, that we are called to be a new creation in Christ, that we are to leave our old ways, right? And the Bible is very clear that homosexuality is a sin. But God calls us to repentance from that sin. That's what draws me out here. I'm not, here, I'm not, I'm not out here to hate people, to judge people, to condemn people. It is love that draws me out here to share this message of repentance because if I truly love somebody, I don't want them, I want to share the message with them that would prevent them from potentially going to hell for eternity. That's true love, that I love people enough to tell them the truth. People may hate me, people may judge me, but I'm doing what God has called me to do. That is to preach the gospel. The, the gospel 
doesn't stop with God love the world. It doesn't. God does love the world, and that's very true. But we're called to repentance. We're called to turn away from our sin. Homosexuality is a sin. It's very clear in the Bible. I have scripture. I have my Bible in my backpack. I can show you. It's very clear in the Bible. I want to thank you for taking this opportunity to talk to me. I ask that you would think about this. Oh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray for you, Pastor Janine. I appreciate I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to pray for you. I will also pray for you. Um, you know, I just... I have a very, very different idea of God's love. I know you do. Or you have a very different idea of the Bible. Um, I just choose to live in the love part and the out of the judgment and the law part. You don't believe that God is going to judge people one day? Oh, absolutely. We will all be judged. How? But I, uh, I firmly believe that up until that moment we stand before God, we still have the opportunity to say, you know what, I really messed up and be entered into heaven at that So you point. think it's when we're dead and we're gone and we're, we're facing the Lord face to face, it is at that time we can repent and ask for forgiveness? I really believe that we have up till that point. Really? I do. What scripture do you have thank to support you for that? Thank your time. Janine, Pastor Janine, thank you. I want to let you know that I love you. I love each and every one of you. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, all right. How are you doing today? I'm well yourself? I'm doing great, thank you. My name is Abel, what is your name? My name is Sister Bruja Jaloka. Okay. Are you a part of a church? <laughs> no, I'm actually, I'm a sister of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, of the San Antonio Sisters. What is, what, what is that exactly? So the Sisters, we are a 31st century order of nuns. We are the nuns of the LGBT community. Our mission is to promulgate universal joy and expiate stigmatic guilt. So we are here for the service of the community. We fundraise. We were originally founded during the AIDS pandemic in the Castro area, and we started from there. We started raising money for our community, helping those in need, and we've never stopped. So we try to promote safe sex, obviously, um, and try to just promote the safety of the community. Right now, our main mission is to be out here and show you know, our trans siblings. We're also here for them, to support them as well. And yeah, that's why we're, we're here. I thought, I thought you were like a part of a church or something. Oh, I saw no. the nun the sisters. And you know, the big misconception, I don't know if you know, I learned about the Los Angeles sisters um, at the LA Dodgers nope. Pride Fest. They oh, were, I heard about that. Uh, yes. They thought that the sisters uh, are anti-religious, but we're actually not. We The sisters come from different faiths. Some of okay. us are Catholic, Christian, some of us are Buddhist, Muslim. We're really? from different faiths, different ethnicities. It's just, we are here to do everything in the service of a nun. So the nuns, they protect their communities, they pray for their communities, they fundraise, they feed the poor, they house the, 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 uh, the shelterless, they feed the hungry. Okay, that's interesting. that's our mission as well. Okay. So would you consider yourself a Catholic or a Christian or Buddhist? Or? Uh, me, I am a Christian, just regular Christian. Okay, awesome. What, what church do you go to? Uh, I don't. Uh, I used to go to uh, St. Mary's University. So I used to oh, be okay. practicing Catholic, but no longer practicing. No, just Christian. There's Abraham from the last video, bro. So, um, so you used to go to St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. Now you don't go to any church, is that correct? No, just the regular like non-denominational churches where people just go and to pray and to, okay. together. Cool. Well, I'm, I'm a Christian also. Oh, congrats. I'm also a Christian. Congrats. I'm also a Christian. And I'm also out here for the people too. Um, I'm out here to spread the love of God. I'm out here to spread the, the message of, of love and grace and mercy. I'm out here to, to share with people that that God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Um, and that anyone who would believe and turn and repent from their sins, that they would have eternal life, like it says in John 3, 16. So I'm out here to, to share that message. Would you, and let me ask, I know you said you consider yourself a Christian. Would you, what do you think the Bible says about homosexuality? So the, it depends on what version you're reading, obviously. If you're going to quote King James Version, it's going to mention it right then and there. But the, we don't quote the King James Version, at least what, not in our church. So we What go, scripture we, do you quote, if you don't mind me asking? Or what Bible? New American. New American. That's correct. Okay. The New American Bible. More so in there, it doesn't mention anything about homosexuality? No, not to the extent. So the verses that it does mention homosexuality or a man lays with another man, it's typically talking about pagan worship that was at that time against those people. And so they thought of it, not in the sense of like two people together in love, but more so these religious rituals that they would do. So there is that particular passage in there, but it doesn't really associate towards our community and like the love of the community. So you don't believe that God um, says, hey Abraham, hey Murray, if you don't mind, I, I wanna say what's up to you, okay? 
I met Abraham uh, last weekend at the at the Pride Parade down, down in the Riverwalk. Very nice young man, very respectable. We had a, a civil, great conversation. Um, he, he's he's a he's a he's a gay man, but we had the, the we had the opportunity to share the gospel with him. Had the opportunity to pray with him. So ultimately, um, so the Bible says that homosexuality homosexuality is a sin. Okay, and it, and it's more than just that one scripture. There is there's there, there's multiple scriptures that say homosexuality is a sin. Which is the other one? Um, so there's there's one there's two in, in the book of Leviticus. There's also one in the book of Jude, and there's a couple more. I don't remember off the, right off the top of my head. I have my Bible. If, I, if, if you're okay, I can show you. Spy. Okay. Now, <clears throat> um, I believe because what the Bible says, not because of my opinion or because of what I say. I believe that homosexuality is a sin, and that we all need forgiveness and repentance from that sin. What does that mean to you? So homosexuality itself, you know, God made you. Do you believe He made me? I believe that, yes, I believe that we are all God's creation. Exactly. So I believe my God is a perfect God. I believe my God doesn't make any mistakes. Exactly. None of these individuals, nor myself, are mistakes. So anything that he creates You're right. cannot be a mistake. You're right. And so says love of God. I believe God doesn't make mistakes. Uh, I do believe that we have a free will. Do you believe that, that, we're, that we're perfect? So if you believe that we were created from a perfect God that doesn't make errors, do you believe that you're perfect? I believe we have the makings of perfection. There's so we're not perfect. Things. We're human. Do you believe that we, that we can make mistakes? Do you believe that we can sin? Yes, we can. Yes. Would you consider homosexuality a sin? No. Why? What, 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 what scripture do you have to support that? Because <sighs> I know you said you're a Christian. Yes. We're both Christians and we both read the Bible. So I'm just curious as to where this... It, you have to realize theologically. Are you a post-critical thought theologian? Or are you verbatim, my God wrote this book and I believe I believe in the word of God I believe that everything that is in the Bible was inspired by God but was was God breathed the Bible says that that God breathed every word that is in the scripture it is all inspired by God it wasn't written by God himself it was written by 40 writers but I believe that everything in the Bible is true I believe there's not and one mistake or error in the Bible were human you're right so so, so what you're trying to say is you're trying to say that that there is just an error in the Bible that homosexual that God doesn't believe homosexuality is a sin just because there was an there's an error in the Bible. Not so much an error. You have to understand the historical context of why certain scriptures written that way. The reason certain scriptures written that way is that sometimes in some of these messages you were particularly had individuals that were against another group of individuals, and a lot of those individuals were pagans, and in particular worships there were homosexual acts. And okay. so that's what they were trying, and most of those scriptures, that's what they were trying to frown against. Okay. And we have to take that into account because people were biased when they write things. You know how many things we've written over and over again that people are biased at. And mean, so, no, I don't, I don't believe that they meant this. I believe that, that this is what God meant. I believe that homosexuality okay. is a sin. If you forgive me, our discussion ends here. You don't want to talk anymore? No. Okay, I thought we were having a good conversation. It was good, but... You'd have to be a fool to continue a conversation that really won't go nowhere else. Okay. Well, I'll tell you this before I let you go. One last statement and I'm done. I believe that God has called you to repentance and I love you enough to tell you the truth. Homosexuality is a sin, right? And Jesus has called us to repentance to turn away from our sin. And if we don't do that, we can spend eternity in hell. So I want to leave you with that message. Our, since 2015, weddings here at Pride. Let's give this wonderful couple a hand. Now, my name is Ron Ranghel. I am blessed to be here today. And I talked to this couple just a bit ago. They met 15 years ago. In 2008 is when I first started participating here at Pride Bigger Than Texas. And back then, we were in a very small parking lot across the street. Much smaller parade, but the folks that are putting this together have been dedicated and working hard to make sure that folks understand the significance of supporting the community throughout San Antonio and all of the United States. And since that time, look at this festival now. It is, it is beautiful. We have two parks. The parade is bigger than ever. It gets bigger every single year. Everybody wants to be a part of that. The reason for that is because of all the support that you, when you come out here and give to everything related to the community, thank you so much for doing that. This is a day of celebration. This is a day 
to be happy and be joyful of all the accomplishments that we have made in this community. Let's celebrate it, and today we do it with this beautiful couple, Joe and Paul. So, yeah, let's give them a round, let's give them a round of applause. They deserve it. They deserve it. So there's, right, a, so there's a there's a marriage that's gonna happen right now. To celebrate what a beautiful moment and a two men are gonna get married. Love. Two gay men, or two homosexual men, are gonna get married right now. Them together in matrimony. They met 15 years ago. That's why that date is so significant for us now. And they met across the street at the Peg. Yes, yes, you can you can go ahead and cheer for them. They are an athlete and a cook. What a better match. You could not find a better match in all of society. So let's get down to it. And I'll ask you, Paul, do you take this man to be your husband, promising to love him, to respect him, to protect him, and give yourself to him and <laughs> no one else? So I pray that God would have mercy on these people, that all these and people Joe, would turn from their sins, that him. they would repent. Now, the only way they're going to receive that message is through us, through other believers, through other Christians, through other evangelists, right, to come so and spread this message. See, a lot of people out here are saying that I'm out here and hate, that I hate people, but I don't hate people. I love people. I love people enough to tell them the truth. That homosexuality is a sin, just like many other sins, but we're called to repentance. So there's there's these two men right now who are going to get married. And let me tell you this, marriage is biblical. God created marriage. It wasn't created by the government. It wasn't created by the state. It wasn't, it wasn't created by man. Marriage was created by God, and it was designed to be between a man and a woman. When God created Adam and Eve, male and female, his intention for marriage was between a man and a woman, not between two men and not between two women. And it's sad that they've taken something that is sacred and holy from God like marriage and turned it in, into this. This is not marriage. Biblically, this is not marriage. This is not marriage. This is not marriage. So they're going to take some vows right now to get married. For the rest of our days. And I don't know if that, that the one who's marrying them is a priest. I don't know if he's a pastor. I would I would beg to differ because All right, now that you've each agreed, it's clearly biblical. It's clearly bi biblical that homosexuality is a sin. And you have exchanged the most beautiful rings I have ever seen. I pronounce you husband and husband. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you for making this a beautiful event for What's up, bro? Do you remember me? Yeah. It's Abel. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hi, how's it going? So my name's Abel. Yeah, my name's Rudy. Rudy. Okay. Are y'all related? No. no. Friends. Friends? Okay. Man, listen, Abraham. Um, are you okay if I talk to you again? I ask you some questions? Um, yeah, I guess so. I know it's kind of hot. So. Want to head to some shade? Um, Let's come over here. Come on. Oh, the music's kind of loud. Um, hey, listen, Abraham, I want to tell you that I enjoyed our conversation last week. Um, it's on YouTube, and a lot of people have been responding to our conversation. Okay. I want to thank you, first of all, because we had a civil conversation. Right. We had a good conversation, Abraham. And I hope that you understand that I did it with love, with good intention. So I just want to remind you that I'm not out here because I hate you, because I'm judging you, but I'm out here, man. And I don't believe it's a coincidence that we ran into each other again. I want to let you know, man, again, that I love you. And I love you enough to share the same message. I'm not going to repeat myself from last time, but um, I want to let you know. How's what it are going? talking about? What are we talking about? Oh, we're just having, I met, I met Abraham last week, so we're just, I'm just following up on our conversation from last week. And what is that about? And so what is your conversation about? It doesn't matter. That's between us two. Okay, so let me ask. Let me let you know this. We're the we're the event organizers here. So, what is your conversation about? I'm giving you an opportunity to say before I have you removed. Why would you have us removed? What is your conversation about? It doesn't matter. It's, it's none okay, of your business. Let's get you removed. It's me. That's right. Abraham. Um, he's he's going to call the cops on me probably. But um, I just want to remind you. I just want to remind you of the message that I shared with you last week. And I love you enough to tell you the truth, Abraham. Okay, we're not, we're not out here. You see me, I'm not out here doing anything bad, anything wrong. I'm not judging people or condemning people. But it's not a coincidence, Abraham. I love you, brother. I love you, okay? My message is still the same. 
from, from, from last week, okay? Can I get some sort of deputies over here at the gazebo, near the Chase building? I'm Philip Marcy, I'm the organizer of this Pride event, and we don't believe what they're doing is right, so we're asking them to be removed. How's it going, Officer Spring Springler? So uh, they're asking you to leave. So all I gotta do is ask you. No. To leave. Okay. So hold on. Hold on. He's, he's, hold on. He's, he's, he's the guy. He he. We're not being aggressive, sir. We're not doing that. We're just having conversation. But he's being aggressive. Um, okay. So. so this is a festival, and he runs a festival. And if they ask you to leave, then I need to take you out. That's it. That's it. Once yeah, you get outside, you can do it. I, I, no, I'm sorry, that's okay. I, I, I paid to come in here. Right, but you know what you paid for, and then I also knew that there's rules and regulations, so you don't react. Okay, so he's asking you to leave something. You have to kick me out? Yes, I do. But he's not the authority, you're the authority. No, I'm the authority no. here. They are the festival. Um, All right, we're gonna go. I don't want to. I don't want to cause any trouble, ma'am. No, I, I don't want to cause any trouble. Let's go out here, and I'll just walk behind you. All right, don't worry. I, I'm gonna leave, sir. Okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. Once you get outside, you can. You can. You can continue to do whatever you want to outside. You can say you want to outside. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. No. Sir, we're not being he's aggressive. Not being I know. But he's asked you to leave, so we have to escort you. You're being real disrespectful. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's on Before camera. It's can I just get the badge number, please? Badge number. I'm 2100. Captain Spanger, 2100. Thank you. I, I, I'm just doing what we're at. I, 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 I back the blue. I back the blue. Let's go. Let's go. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. Right, let's go. This, this man was, was this officer. He was, he was touching us. Just to let you know, if it was the other way around. I can do whatever I want to. If, if it was the other way around. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So what do you got to do with the footage? Sir, as an officer, he's harassing Okay. Sir, we're not being the aggressors. Oh, he's being aggressive. We can record, sir. This is public property. Can is it? Yeah, we can record. If y'all can stay back, please, that'd be great. Sir, you, you sir. Go. Thank you. Go. Bye. Go. Sir, I love your, I, I love Abraham. I'm just, I'm just, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not out here to condemn yeah. people, to judge people. I'm simply asking if they want to have a conversation, if they want to have a conversation, then we no, engage if, in a conversation. If want to do that outside on the street, you, have more the right to. you, they're, you they're can rent, go for they're it. They're renting out this area right now, so hey, you know what I mean? They, they paid the so money. It's, it's, um, it's their house rules. And if they want you ejected, then they have to walk you out. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm not going to get on you. Exactly. Thank you for being fair. Some officers last weekend were not fair with me. Well, um, like, he, he's the, the head guy. So, we'll just walk out. But they were laying hands on us, uh, on my father and my cousin right here. If it was the other way around, we would be arrested right now. We'd be in handcuffs. Okay, um, you might want to watch it because there's a, 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 a step right here. That you okay, have. just keep, This guy's been harassing my dad i don't want him to i don't want my dad to be forced to do something to protect himself oh no that's why we're here no but anything you, you out there do, just as long as it's outside the festival because the festival people have asked you to leave that's the only thing but you have a good one thank you and anything you want to do out there you can Thank you, officers. They have to go outside and remove their wristbands. But whatever they do yeah. outside the gate, you're welcome, you're welcome to talk to anybody you want outside the gate. Right. Okay? Where's the third one? He's right there. He's my father. Here, I got a knife. I got it. Mr. Morales. What would y'all do, man? Nothing, just having conversations <laughs> with people, sir. That's it, I'm, as, I'm asking people for it. They want to have interviews. Uh, preaching the gospel. That's what we're getting kicked out for. Be professional. This is not personal. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's go, ready? You Thank you, guys. You're more than well. Thank you. Now, Listen. How about, how about a, a refund? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's only fair. No, nah, it's okay. Uh, it's, well, it's, not up, it's not up to them. It's okay. <laughs> we probably deserve one, but it's not up to you. That's right. Let's go there. How about a refund? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Yeah.
Of course, we got kicked out again <laughs> by the cops. Um, the organizer of the event, like it looks like he's coming out here. Yeah, they say we could be out here, sir. Right outside the tent. Philip, right? As long as I don't cross over, they said I can stand right here, sir. So we just got kicked out of the Pride event. Um, we had about, I don't know, six officers <laughs> escort us out at the end. We're here in peace and love, and we're not here to, to have arguments or to fight with people. We're not out here to even condemn people or judge people to hell. We're out here just to show the love and the grace of Jesus. Um, apparently, the organizer has the has authority that is above the is above the police officers. Um, and even though this is public property, I guess it's a private event. I don't know, but the cops couldn't do anything about it. The cops couldn't prevent me from being kicked out of this event. But um, that's what happens when you preach the truth. A lot of these people don't want to hear the truth. A lot of these people are offended by what the Bible says and what God says. Not about what I have to say, but what about the Bible says. Um, they were being a little aggressive. If it, was the, if it was the other way around, I promise you, we would have all been in handcuffs. Um, but with that being said, we're going to continue to move forward. We're going to continue to preach the gospel. Um, the devil <laughs> will not prevail. Um, we're going to talk to people out here. We still have a lot of people who we can talk to. So the day's not over yet. But I want to encourage anyone who's watching, if you're a believer, if you're a Christian, in one way, shape, or form, evangelize. This is what we're called to do as Christians, is to preach the gospel. This is what we're called to do. All the disciples and the apostles were murdered. They were martyred for believing in Christ, for preaching the gospel. And nowadays, we're slightly inconvenienced, and we're, we're ashamed to preach the gospel. We're scared to preach the gospel, but Jesus commands us in the book of Matthew chapter 28. It's known as the Great Commission to go out and preach the gospel to make disciples. A lot of Christians have been talking to me, not just here in person, but on YouTube, leaving comments. And they're upset that I'm preaching the gospel. I've been doing this for a long time already, preaching on the street. And it's the same message that I've been preaching for the past year and a half that I'm preaching here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the same message with the homosexual with the liar, with the thief, with the murderer, with the adulterer, with the fornicator. The message is consistent. The love of God is sufficient. The blood of Jesus is sufficient to forgive all these people, to forgive all these people for their sins, just like I have received forgiveness and grace and mercy for what I've done. Y'all have a good day. No, you can have this back. No, you can't just walk in across the way. So like, if you have cash. There we go. Yeah, have a good day. There we go, there we go. Here we go, ma'am. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, stay hydrated. There we go. There you go. Looks like we got the Cheeto, the Cheeto man, Chester. Is that his name, Chester? Chester. Take it with me. Take it with you. There we go, there we go, there we go. Here you go. Hope I'm not blocking the camera. Hi, how are you? There you go. Would you like one? Go ahead and give it a read. It's like a 60 second read. There you go, 60 second read. You can read it. You can read it in about 60 seconds. There we go. Y'all take care. All right, be safe, man. Stay hydrated. It is hot out here. It is hot out here. There we go. Hey, y'all stay hydrated. It's super hot out here. No, thank you. Oh, you don't want it? Okay. No, thank you. How's it going, sir? Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Stay hydrated. It's it's hot out here. It is hot out here. There we go. Yes, All right. Have a good time. Have a good time. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm glad you said thank you. Most people don't say thank you. Oh, yeah. No, thank you. Appreciate it. We just, uh, here we go. Oh, you got one? Oh, how'd you get one? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, inside? I'll take, I'll take one more. There we go. You, you. You're gonna hand them out? Oh, you can take it. You can take hers. You should have won it. You don't have to take it if you don't want it, but this is, uh, it's up to you. How's it going, man? Hello, how are you? Hi, good. Go ahead and take it. It's a 60 second read. 
No? All right. How's it going? Here you go. 60 second read. You're going you're gonna to be bored in line. Why not read something on the way in? There we go. There we go. Read it on the way in. It's going to be boring on the, way, on the way in. It only takes a minute to read it. Like literally 60 seconds to read it. There Thank we you. go. There we go. You are welcome. You are very welcome. How's it going, sir? How's it going? How are you? How are you? Is that Kirby? It is. Ah, yeah. uh, nice, nice, nice. Go ahead and read it on, on your way in. It only takes a few, about 60 seconds to read it. There we go, there we go. Something to read on the way in. No, I'm good, thank you. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hello, hello. How are you? Hi. What's up, what's up? Get in the shade, get in the shade. It is how you are welcome, you are welcome. I think people think I'm with this lady handing out chips. So I think, here we go, here we go. Stay hydrated, right? It is, it is, it is hot out here. How about this, I almost said cold. There we go, there we go. All right, I got a lot more tracks. I'll probably save some for next time. Just hand out these, these tracks. Woo! There we go, ma'am. There we go, sir. Go ahead and give it a read, give it a read. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me any questions. Or you want to be interviewed for YouTube. Oh, no, thank you. If you want to be, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer some questions. If you would like to be interviewed, this is going on YouTube. There you go, brother. Go ahead and give it a read, man. Would you like to, uh, to ask me some questions? I can ask you some questions. We can have a conversation and... All right, thank you. How's it going, man? I just, get, I just got kicked out of the event for preaching the gospel. Really? Yeah. Hallelujah, brother. Man, praise God. So, hey, man, go God. Jesus, go Hallelujah. Jesus, go hey, Jesus. Let's come in the light, man, for the video. He's coming back soon, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is coming back. Hallelujah. Brother, my name is Abel. What's your name, sir? Man, David. David, powerful hey, name. My name's Abel. Hey, man, David, this is Christian. Christian, God bless, Christian. You, God bless you, bro. Nate. Nate. Nate, nice to meet you. Listen, man. So, your name? David. Christian. Nate. Nate, all right. So, what are you out here doing today, man? Oh, man, we're here to preach the gospel because a lot of people are on their way to hell, amen? If Jesus says this, if, you're, if you don't believe in him and don't repent and turn from your sins, you're going to die in your sin. See, God doesn't wish no man to perish. He says God commands every man everywhere to repent and to believe the gospel. See, the wages of sin is death. See, yes, God loves them, but he doesn't love sin. And at the end of the day, it's appointed unto man to die once in the judgment of God. So God is going to judge them in their sin if they don't repent of their sin. See, fornication is sin, adultery is sin, lying and stealing. But the word of God is clear. God did not make Adam and Steve. He made Adam and Eve. And it says in Romans 1, 25 and 26 that women burn with lust after one another. And men, they exchanged the natural use of women and they burned in lust for one another. And God gave them up to a reprobate mind. Amen. So that is why we're here because people are on their way to hell and they're deceived, but we want them to know the truth because it is the truth that will set them free. Thank you, David. I respect that, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Hallelujah. We were just in there. The cops escorted us out. At the end, there was like six or seven cops trying to get us out of there. Wow. Um, but be because, because, because we're preaching the gospel, man. But um, Because listen. you love them. Because you yes, love them. Yes, exactly. Man, I'm trying to tell these people, I don't hate you. I love yeah. you enough to tell you the truth. Amen. The truth is, brother, that this is a sin. Yeah. This is a sin, brother. Yeah. Right? And um, yeah, see, because this, say if I was living this lifestyle and people came up to me to let me know, I would have been like, man, I wish I would have just listened. But if no one let me know, I would have been like, why didn't anybody tell me? Because hell is forever. It's the lake of fire. Brother Jeff, hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, this is Brother Jeff. Brother Jeff. Hey, um, thank you. Um, Christian. Hables español? Ah, poquito español. Ah, okay. I was say because we need some content in Spanish. Oh man, my bad. I, I thought you I thought you speak Spanish, That's right? I, I Christian. Go to Spanish church in Milwaukee from Wisconsin. What church you go to? I, I go to Almas from Milwaukee. I almost I'm from Wisconsin. I came down here to Are you just visiting? Or? Yeah, yeah. Just to preach the gospel? Yeah, man. I know David from Chicago. We both preach the gospel. Praise God. Here. Yeah. Praise I'm God. From Wisconsin. Praise God. 
Listen, man, so what drives you out here to come and talk to these people? Because my heart go out go my heart go out for people like that. Cause a lot of people love us, as David said. You know, I just like once God saved my life, I just got a passion for the loss. You know, Jesus said, as believers, we must go out and witness, you know, a great commission to go out and preach the gospel. We can't be unashamed. It doesn't matter here, is it Muslims or abortion, it doesn't matter. Any soul, every soul counts. And for the kingdom of God, Jesus Christ is coming back. And come on, I don't want no one to perish in hell. That's come why on. I have a love to see all people come to him to know him to know his knowledge because we are the light of the world and we must our light must shine in the darkness amen praise god brother praise god brother nate right yes abel brother nice to meet you. so what drives you out here man what drives are, you, are you let me ask you are you out here to hate people no i'm out here to to love people Really, I'm out here with, with through the Christ of blood is to show people that there is a way, a truth, a way, and a life. And, you know, they think the, the stuff that they're living in is happiness, but it really is temper and really it doesn't satisfy you. And, and it really, it's, it's, it's stuff to destruction. It's stuff to, to lead you into hell. It leads to dark places. It leads to holes. And really, we're just out here to love people, to show them that, that there is a God. And really, we are just here to show them. And they come at us thinking that we are our... Are, um, are here to, to hate them, but really it's the demons inside of them. So all we really got to do is just stand firm in the Christ of blood and just preach them. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. This lady was like all up on you right now. Um, she want to make sure she doesn't hurt you. Or Covered through the blood of Christ. Amen, amen. Or try to hurt you. Yeah. Um, there were some people. I have to say you're an idiot. You want to have a conversation, brother? So, so getting back to that's an example, and, and that's an example right there is that there's there's demons people think that it's not real but demons are real angels are real god is real and the devil is real and for an example right there we're not even doing nothing and they're coming to us talking mess to us you know why because it's the spirits inside of them so that's what we're here to do amen show people the truth way in the life and show them there is a amen God. amen Oh, hallelujah, there is power in the name of Jesus. Man, we serve a mighty God. We serve a great God. A God that moves mountains. A God is able to set you free from alcohol. A God is able to set you free from drugs, sexual sin. A God is able to break every chain. In the name of Jesus, and He loves you. And Jesus Christ is coming back. He don't want no one to perish. He don't want everyone to know His truth and His life. Because He is the way. He is the only way. It's not Buddha. It's not Muhammad. It's not the universe. It's not the universe. It's not the universe. That we might be saved. A holy and righteous God. Amen. Doing that to the preacher, that's shameful. Look at how they mock God, how they laugh at this. It's it's so sad because they're gonna to have to give an account to what they're doing. Turn away from your sins and believe the gospel before it's too late because it's running out. 
But if you want, I can ask you some questions. That's fine. And I can put it on YouTube. That's cool. I'm good. Uh, what is your name? Uh, my name is Farida, but everybody calls me Free. 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 Listen, Free. I'm out here today to preach the gospel in love, with compassion, because I believe that God loves the world, that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Yeah. So now, I'm going to ask you a question. You're a Christian, right? I am. I see you got the shirt. Faith? Yeah, I believe in faith. I believe in God. But I believe God is love. So. Amen. Do you believe that homosexuality is a sin? Actually, I don't know. Yo, know, I can't say because I have homosexual friends. I have homosexual family. And while I may or may not agree with it, I believe people should be able to do what they want to do and love who they love. You're right. We all, we all have free will. We also live in a free country where, this, where people can do this. Yeah. We all have the freedom of speech and religion. However, my question is, do you believe that it's a sin? Do you believe that God I, says it's I a sin? I don't believe it's a sin. And I can't say I believe it's a sin. I don't believe it's a sin no more than any other sin. I don't believe it's a sin. Love is love. Now, I know that what the Bible preaches. I know the Bible preaches. Man and woman, I know about all about Sodom and Gomorrah. I know all about all those things. But I, I believe as a human being who creates sin a lot, <laughs> that I can't define what somebody else's sin is. So, yeah, the Bible clearly says that homosexuality is a sin, just like any other sin, lying and stealing and, and murder, right? <clears throat> but I'm out here to tell these people because, yes, God, do, God does love the world, but he's also called us to repentance. Repentance means that you turn away from your sin, right? Because the Bible says that homosexuality, along with murder and idolatry, can send us to hell if we don't repent from it. Right? So that's I love these people enough. I just get, I just got kicked out of the event right now. They kicked me out. I paid to get in and everything, and they kicked me out because I was just having conversations like this, civil conversations. But um, um, anyway, I, I'm sharing that message that I love people enough to tell them the truth that this is a sin and that this sin requires repentance. That if people don't turn away from this sin, right? That if people don't ask for forgiveness, then ultimately they're going to be held accountable for that sin. So what does that mean to you? To me, I mean, you have your beliefs, right? And I have mine. So, do I believe I'm going to go to hell or anybody's going to go to hell because they love man on man or woman on woman? No. I really, I honestly don't believe that. Um, what, what, what if, um, regardless of what the Bible says? Regardless of what the Bible says. Because I know my, I know my Lord and I know my Lord's forgiving. So, whatever, even if, I mean, like you said, you know, he says homosexuality is sin. Premarital sex is a sin. Yep. Um, alcoholism, gluttony, greed, coveting, all that is a sin and we do it every day. Do you day. think God wants us to, to live and dwell in that sin? Or do you think he wants think, us to change it? Because the Bible says that when we come to Christ... I don't think he wants Christ, to live and dwell, but he, he, he knows he, we all grow, right? So you said God forgives. What What is required for God to forgive somebody? Do you know what the Bible says? I know what the Bible says. My mom was a preacher. The Bible says church. that the Bible says that you should confess your sins and repent yeah. in order for God to forgive you. But if you don't believe that this is a sin, then and I don't, I'm not one here to to judge anybody. So for me, if this was such a sin, why would God make it? God didn't make it. God made it. He knew this was gonna happen. God, he did. God made everything. So he made murderers, he made liars, he made cheaters, he made homosexuals, he made, you know, all that. It's still wrong, you know, like everything is wrong, but we have we have to pick and choose, right? So, sorry, I'm looking for my son. It's okay. okay. I know. Um, overall, I would say this, regardless of what anybody does, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to love. Me either. So if they're here, if this is how they choose to love, I'm going to let them love that way and I'm going to support them that way. I, it may not be for me, but that doesn't mean I'm going to judge or try to push off my beliefs to anybody else. So I'm here 
in support of my good friend. Um, she is homosexual, and I love and support her. You know, she's coming back. Yeah, because she's probably looking for me, my son. I don't want you to to, to fall too back behind. Yeah. But she's almost there. Now. I saw you and I, I hesitated. I was like, should I go talk to her or not? No, oh uh, Lord. Look, look I'll cut you off. Right. 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 So he just stole their sign. He just stole their sign. I mean, look. Sir, guys, uh, one of those guys, one of those guys just assaulted my, my my camera guy. I'm just saying, if it was us, we would be arrested right now. I'll show you right now. He assaulted him. Where did he go? It's on camera, bro. It's a camera officer. It's on camera. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, it's not a cheap camera. All right, I want to thank everyone once again for watching this video. We just left the Pride event, and as some of you may have seen, um, my camera guy, my cousin Emilio, who's filming this right now, was actually assaulted by somebody out there. Um, the cops kept, uh, the cops intervened, thank God, and nobody was, nobody was badly injured and nobody was arrested or, you know, nobody was um, sent to jail or anything. Um, and, but it's so unfortunate how aggressive and how evil these people can be because we're out there just spreading love, spreading peace and spreading the message of Jesus, right? That God so loved the world that he sent Jesus to down the cross for our sins. Now, the police were very nice. Thank God they weren't uh, one-sided to some extent. Um, we did file, file a police report. Um, and we decided to leave because our intention is not to fight. Our intention is not to come out here and hate people and judge them and to condemn them. But our intention is to have conversations and to spread the love of Jesus, to spread the gospel. So we, we, we made the decision to leave. Some people would have stayed. There was others that stayed preaching on the megaphone. 
I just made the decision to leave um, because I wouldn't want anyone to be injured. Um, I wouldn't want anyone to, to potentially go to jail. Now, if preaching the gospel eventually comes at that cost, then so be it. But I encourage everyone, if you're a Christian, if you're a believer, in one way, shape, or form to preach the gospel. It doesn't have to be on the streets or even at Pride. But it's at work, it's at school, it's in your neighborhood, it's with your friends, it's with your family. So again, I want to thank everyone for watching. If this video has blessed you, this video has encouraged you, leave a comment. You know, like the video, share the video with somebody who may be blessed and, and, and who may be encouraged by this video. Y'all take care. Thank you. God bless you.